what is bitcoin doing in the market getting rejected by the 144 simple moving average on the early time frame guys how you all doing today guys this is literally the coldest day of this goddamn year it's just been i think yeah it's been 25 days since this year literally started but guys it's fucking cold and fucking ncr today man shit cold guys holy crap that's why my video is also blue today i'm feeling blue <laughs> i'm feeling out of blue today anyways guys in this video we'll talk about bitcoin ethereum and some dominance things as well right but i had to talk about solana as well so we'll see what's happening on solana as well guys anyway so the price action right here is telling us that bitcoin on the small time frames is maybe getting supported by this teeny tiny buy zone liquidity coming in at thirty five thousand five hundred dollar region so maybe we can say this entire price zone to the precise region right here which is going to be a thirty five seven hundred dollars guys until this price action is holding these levels maybe we can expect continuation coming in for the rest of the day itself until this daily candle closes actually right um, but essentially guys the most important point for this video is to compare the price action between bitcoin and altcoins in general guys just take a look at the price action on ethereum just plain simple price action right here and now take a look at the price action on bitcoin guys as you can see that bitcoin is doing something like this the overall trajectory is something like this right whereas ethereum is flat guys ethereum is simply going flat in the market like like this once again like this right so you can see that the dominance has started picking up in the market which is why guys this kind of tells us that even if we are jumping into any altcoin trade in the market we have to be precisely focused on whatever bitcoin is doing guys this is going to be clear cut clear cut indicator as to any price action movement happening on any altcoin remember guys whenever there's a rush towards safety like these environments right here where people are simply jumping into assets that are down maybe just 50 percent not 90 percent or something like that that is when you have to put your entire focus into bitcoin first then you have to look forward to any altcoin for any bullish trade or bearish trade in the market right as you can see guys the dominance has started picking up which is why our focus towards our, our simple focus should be mostly towards the price action on bitcoin at first okay guys one more thing one more quite important point to be made right here is the fact that we are in a downtrend right i mean i mean no fucking shit right here but yeah so in any downtrending market all the bullish trades are supposed to be scalps remember guys in a downtrending market all the bullish trades are scalp trades right whereas in an uptrending market all the bearish trades are scalp trades guys i hope you got that i hope you simply got that in an uptrending market all the down moves are your scalp trades in a downtrending market all the up moves are your scalping trades guys so my point being don't fucking get married to your positions if you take this right here right now don't get married to any long exposure in the market guys just just don't do that right just just this is a financial advice yes this is a fucking financial advice do not get married to your positions in the market just play this game like a fucking trader guys okay um i think we don't have much to talk about on the price action on any any price action for that matter guys so ethereum right here until we are below 2500 dollars reasons no bullish trade is supposed to be made once we get rid of this price action to the upside yes maybe we're going to be targeting 350 simple guys we're going to be targeting 350 simple which is at three thousand dollars flat that price action structure should be aligning with forty thousand dollars on bitcoin so if you see bitcoin kind of running towards your forty thousand dollar regions maybe ethereum will be a little lagging in the market but most likely your ultimate direction and your targets will be towards three thousand dollars per ethereum guys okay before i end the video let's talk about soul usd on ftx what is solana doing in the market probably getting wrecked yes it's probably getting wrecked. It, it, it is getting that guys holy fucking shit i just made a complete comprehensive video on solana's price action against bitcoin against ethereum and the reason why i'm rambling right now is because my charts are taking some time to load up so please bear with me guys please be fucking patient i am being patient with my internet right here it's just fucking pain in the ass man holy freaking crap where are all those private companies when you need them otherwise all throughout the day i'm going to be getting all of those telecommunication advertisements on my phone buy our airtel subscription buy our geo subscription get internet get 100 get one fucking gbps of internet for this amount of money for that amount of money in my current location not even fucking airtel can get their foot wet guys it's just well 
I guess it's just Indian talks to be honest with you. Anyways, guys, back into Solana's price action right here. Similar story until you're above this price point right here. Maybe you're going to be attempting a little teeny tiny movement all the way towards $100 regions, guys. It's going to be a flat target and maybe a 5% range to work out on, right? Or a 10% range to work out on from these current price points. So maybe I'm going to be putting a lot of focus into this price point at first. So if you see Solana going below $87 regions, the scenario, the bearish scenario from the Solana video should be playing out once again right so if just to just for a little recap guys i was talking about the fact that we are in a downtrend right yep no shit so what can solana do is that it can just create an illusion of setting in a bottom right here you can go up and then bam it could cancel out all the stop losses right here and then set in a new low then go up once again then bam maybe set in a new low once again taking out three zones of stop losses and then maybe trying to revert finally right something like that could play out as well so what are we dealing with right now something like this is happening guys honestly yeah that kind of shit is happening in the market but all the props and all the focus is towards $88 regions. If you see sort of going below $88, just if you're in a long position, just dump that goddamn garbage of a position, guys. It's, it's straight up, right? And wait for a new low to be formulated somewhere below the stop loss hunt right here. Then maybe go for a retracement trade, guys. Although, on the other hand, if you invert the chart, this is a good looking bullish chart to be traded, guys. Um, and we can particularly see a trend line also playing out perfectly fine, right? So, yep, I think that is aligning with something that I just made right at the beginning. Yep, you can see that price action is kind of hustling, but maybe it could maybe it could start picking up from these levels and we can target $100 per Solana pretty soon, guys. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. And guess what? I'm going to be catching all of you tomorrow, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>